Creative process is different for everybody, no matter if you're creating a piece of music, painting a picture, writing a book. There is a new exhibit at the Anderson Center in Red Wing. It's called There is a Ladder, Reaching for the Unknown. You can see their creative journey for 20 international artists, scientists, and others. Joining us on Midmorning Now is Kate Whitmore, the artist and curator who is inspired to take a look at the creative process. Kate, thanks for being with us. You're quite welcome. Obviously, as an artist, you live in the creative process. What made you want to explore this in other artists? Um, as a lifelong artist, I've thought a lot about where ideas come from mm. and the elusiveness of their success. Mm. So I curated this unique exhibition to um, honor the scribbles and fragile trajectories of the creative process. What does that process look like for you? I, I get a lot of my ideas out of the materials. And in tuning into the materials, other information comes through. And so I've learned to use my palettes and my scribbles to um, extrapolate into greater projects. Mm. But different artists find different stuff, This is a lot more than scribbles here. I mean, come on, this is gorgeous. Thank you. This is one of my works, which is called The Mermaid's Book, which is from a palette painting, you know, where you mix the colors. So that's what inspired that. This is a sketchbook by Fred Hagstrom, who is an award-winning Minnesota book artist and printmaker. And this is from the South Pacific. He's made four of these, and they're continuously beautiful and full. There aren't any <laughs> bad pages, no scribbles, no mistakes. <laughs> but he's doing this. Why is he doing this in the sketchbook like this? Um, because he finds it beautiful in the mm -hmm. South Pacific, and he's connecting to nature there. And, he and then takes, does that help him take that and make it uh, into something that he uses in books? Or Yeah, and he, in fact, made these whole books. Like yeah. He made the book, right. and then he painted in it. And he takes Carleton students to the South Pacific every year wow. to, in, to commune with nature. So he connects yeah. with the physicality also of, the, of place. Yes, very much. That's a good question. But Red Wing has such a tradition of artists and celebrating mm -hmm. artists' work. I mean, obviously, a lot of people must just be thrilled to have this there. It is quite thrilling, I think. I mean, um, we've got a lot of people coming through, and it's a hit. One of the, um, one of the hits of the exhibit is um, Acclaimed Minnesota storyteller and playwright Kevin Kling. Sure. Yes. Uh, who has his archives are hilarious for his writing of the play Lloyd's Prayer, which is a play on the words Lord's Prayer. Sure. <laughs> it's fascinating yeah. where good ideas come from, bad ideas come from. That process is really interesting, so you can explore that all at Anderson Center in Red Wing. Uh, the exhibit is on display through December 15th, right? Uh, actually, November 30th. November 30th. Yes. Very good. All right, we'll get down to Red Wing and check yes. it out. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you.